Hello guys and welcome back for another deck review. And firstly, I just want to say sorry I haven't done a video in a while, but um, that's mainly because of school and homework and and other stuff like that. But I have actually been working on a deck. I have been designing a deck. But um, yeah. So let's get into the deck review, and I will be reviewing the vintage plaid California blue deck by Dan Dave. I did do an unboxing this about a month ago, I think. So sorry about that. But anyway, um, there will be a link on the screen and maybe in the description. And yeah, it's a very nice deck. And let's get into it. So let's start with the outside of the box. So um, th um, on the front of the box, you got this nice textured feel. It's kind of like a leathery feel. And um, it says US regulation playing cards. And then it has the four soups here. And um, on the side, it has fine playing cards for gentlemen. On the other side, it has the D and D Dan Dave playing card company, Los Angeles, California. And then on the top you have poker number one, and it does have a custom seal, and it's just black with a circle in it. Says play fair. On the bottom has some copyright information, and um, like Dan Dave and stuff. And then here is the back design. We'll get to more details about this later on. And then at the bottom it says made in USA. That actually isn't part of the back design. They just put it on there, like just part of the box. But um, yeah, it's quite a nice box. Like the textured feel on the front, and yeah. So let's get into the box. So on the tab here, you have it says "Bad luck is bad play," and then on the um, tabs here, there's nothing there. So let's get into the cards, and there's white on the inside also. So. Um, let's just go over the back design. So here's the back design, and as you may notice, um, quite quickly, this is a borderless um, deck, and um, it looks great. Uh, it's just basically just lines going through, like blue and green, and it's very nice. You can just get a look at that. And yeah, you may also notice that it is a, actually isn't a white paper. If I just show you the joke here. And I take a white card. In this case, we'll be using the smoke and mirrors one. See, this is the um, vintage pad, and this is the smoke and mirrors. You'll notice that this is white, and this is like kind of a a pale green. But and that it just isn't the lighting in here. That is actually how it is. So anyway, let's go with the Joker. You do get two Jokers. One does have a, a um, an Ace of Spades reveal on there. So basically, it's just a um, a a deer. I believe it's a buck. Kind of like Dan and Dave Buck, but um, yeah, that's basically it. Nice kind of sketch drawing of it there, and you do get two of those, as I said. And you do also get two other cards. One is kind of like a word search, and on one side it has poker, like circled, and the other side it has hunting circled there. And you do also get like a a cocktail recipe, I think this is, but um, I obviously won't do this. But um, quite interesting if you're into cocktails and stuff like that. So let's get into like the actual cards they give you. So here's the Ace of Spades, very simple, but um, quite nice actually. So basically, you just got the actual spade shape there, no disease, no detail actually, which um, gives quite a good effect. And at the bottom, it has the D and D um, playing card company, um, and it has standard indexes and standard pips as you go through the pip cards and when you get to the um, court cards you'll notice that the colours are slightly darker I think or well, it might, might just be the light in here but um, they're basically the same though so not much there not much difference and then the red cards are the same and it may look darker than the red because the like the pale green instead of the white on the back like behind it, but um, yeah, it's nice addition there. They've put in um, it's basically standard designs there and standard colors, other than the um, space appearing like the pale green behind that, which is quite nice. So, let's get into the handling of the deck. So, it fans nicely, spreads nicely, and flips nicely. And let me just do it with the back facing this way, and it does look very nice with the design just spreading across. 
and it gives a nice effect. Um, Riffle shuffles nicely and bridges nicely as well. Springs nicely, it gives another good effect. And cuts nicely as well. So this is a really good deck. I really like the feature, like the pale green, instead of using a white going um, the gun doing a really good thing there and other decks you like to do that. Not like have it really bold, just like just very subtle and yeah, so go pick this deck up. There'll be a link in the description below where you can get this. Also a link to the unboxing for this and the red and the Smoker Minus V6 by Dan Dave. So go check out the review for that as well. And there'll be more videos coming soon. And go check out my other videos, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys next time.